My name is Patrick and I own McDonald Timing and I'm mad as hell I'm not going to take it anymore. Now recently I've seen more and more people talking about how they are going to put their business lives in their hands using USB to Ethernet adapters for timing applications. Now if you're going to use it for an asynchronous application like maybe race day scoring or meet management stuff, high tech meet pro or even scoreboard, something that's not mission critical, knock yourself out. Have at it. But if you're talking about using one of these adapters to connect to finish links or Eagle Eye or whatever camera system you, you're using, think again, don't do it. So the thing is, it's not a matter of if these things are gonna fail, it's a matter of when they're gonna fail. Uh, and I can tell you that there's so many times over my timing career where I've had to very quickly move things around on a tabletop for whatever reason. Maybe it's starting to rain or just I just needed to move for somebody else to get into a space or whatever it may be. These things are just not going to hold up. And I know it's harder and harder to find good, proper Ethernet ports on laptops. You're going to have to spend a little bit more because it's probably going to be a gaming laptop. And Apple and Razer, they don't sell any laptops anymore, as far as I know, with, with a good RJ45 on them. Uh, maybe the, the, the Razer Blade 17, which is $3,000. Um, and even Dell has gone away from good ones, too. Like They're using the stupid jaw style ones, and those suck. Don't use them either. But... Acer, Asus, Lenovo, they're all happy to sell you laptops that have good proper Ethernet ports on them. So people trying to use a USB to you know, if Ethernet adapter, I've got one cable here. It's a good quality cable. It's actually from Razer. It's barely been plugged in. Like you can actually you can't even see any any scrape marks on the uh, on the actual metal here. It's because I've barely used it basically. So here we go, just yoink, oink, out. USB-C is even worse. It goes in super easy and just comes out real light, lightly as well. I mean, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna move your laptop, it's gonna be, oh, and it's gone. All of a sudden you've got cameras that are red line, you're gonna miss starts, you're gonna miss the, the, the finish. All, this is just some random cable that I had lying around. This is like a six pound laptop. It's up off the ground, no problem at all. Don't do it. It's going to let you down. You're going to lose money. You're going to lose the contract. 